afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And this is our local channel that serves the city of St. John and the city of Maxwell. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Or I even ask you to come over and visit us over here on the south side of the square where there's always a warm cup of coffee and on a morning like this when it's a sort of chilly it's a good time to come visit and share our coffee pot with us. Uh, today is Wednesday October the 23rd and over the entire country the cold temperature is the theme um, for today as the cold it seems to be expanding coming in from the east it's going towards the east and the south. It's coming in from the west. In the Midwest, this chilly condition continues over the entire region and will continue to do so into the weekend as the temperatures will stay be 10 to 20 degrees below the averages for this time of the year. Um, although the highs in some areas will be in the 40s, most parts of the region will have more rain than snow as a result of this cold temperature or the rain showers that comes with the, a weak clipper system that is covering the whole Midwest region. And tonight, today, tonight into Thursday, we can expect some light, light rain with showers to cool off at about 57 degrees. But right now in the square it is a cloudless blue-gray sky but the sun is shining. Uh, the hu humidity is at 83 percent and the temperature is right at 55 degrees. Over the next six hours or so we should expect the conditions to remain dry as the temperature warms up rapidly to about 65 to 70 degrees as the winds come in 10 to 15 miles per hour and they come in from the south southwest. The high for today will be um, 71 and we can expect the wind to shift to a northwesterly pattern at 11 miles per hour and with some more humidity at night time and so we could see lows as low as 39, 36 even on the clear moonlit skies tonight. Thursday we can expect the high to be right at 71 and the low at 39 with the winds coming in from the northeast at about 9 miles per hour and Friday it should be mostly sunny with the high at 62 the wind speed at, six, at 40 miles per hour and the lows would be a little bit higher at 43 um, but it should be it should warm up somewhat over the next couple of days over the weekend so we'll see in our community. Tonight, the St. Bernard's Parish has their 51st annual turkey dinner, and that will start at 5 p.m. until it gets served out. And I am told that this is a big one and lots of people come from all over. So if you want to enjoy the dinner at the St. Bernard's Parish, come out at 5 o'clock and the the, the evening supper is only nine dollars for adults, five dollars for children, six to twelve, and those under five will be served at no charge. So do come out at five p.m. tonight for the St. Bernard's Parish Turkey Dinner, and um, enjoy that feast. It should be lots of fun. And in, for our birthdays, we want to wish Lila. Hula, a happy birthday today. Today is Lila's birthday. Wish her a happy birthday if you see her. And tomorrow, the 24th, um, it's Leslie Minka's birthday, Sandy Smith, Jim Green, and Nikki Bear, also Todd Gillespie. So wish all of those people a happy birthday for tomorrow. And on Friday, it should be Jesse Leroy's birthday. Um, we have a very active group of young people at our um, high school here in St. John 
and sometime last week they had a very interesting time where they had a DMD day and that's a disability mentoring day and this is a time where the high schoolers get to um, visit different um, locations and they get to shadow people who are working with dis disabled handicapped children. I think that's a wonderful thing they do as part of the community services um, for their high school diploma. And they get to shadow these people on the workplace. So let's listen to Bradley Blue as he speaks with one of these people that they had a chance to visit with over um, the time last Hello, week. Hello, this is Bradley Blue for the Shepherd Center News. I am with Gail Wilson for we saw here, and I will be asking her a few questions about DMD. Okay. So, what is the program all about? Disability Mentoring Day is a national, uh, statewide. A group that that pairs uh, special education students with a mentor of their choice and hopefully gives them uh, a snapshot view of different kinds of jobs. We hope that they come more than one year. Uh, they do get to choose three jobs and get one of the jobs of their choice that they get to go visit that day. And are you the director of this whole operation? The director is Billy Thompson. Um, Linda Blanchett and I also help him with, with all of the arrangements that have to be made. There are quite a few details that have to be taken care of. And last question, how long have you been doing this? This is our sixth annual year for doing Disability Mentoring Day. We're very excited. Every year it builds and gets a little bit bigger. And we're so excited this year. We have 127 students signed up with 38 different businesses. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Mark your calendars. We've been talking about the Friends of the Library and this week ends the, the week of the Friends of the Library. This started about seven years ago and it celebrates the Friends of the Library and all that they do to help with the work in the um, library. These people devote their time and they also devote their donations and these donations are used to buy books and um, supplement different reading programs and activity programs for the young people in the church, in the, in the library. So um, they're celebrating that this week um, through the 26th. This year's theme is nomination, and you will see they will plant gnomes all around, and that is to remind us to buy a membership for the library. Um, for next year for 2014 and the memberships are $10 for single and $15 for double so please if you have a chance visit them over at the library and support their efforts the Ida Long Goodman Memorial Library at 405 North Monroe I like libraries I have a, an affinity to libraries I hope some of the things that are in those books um, get into my head somehow. Um, October the 24th, Thursday, the EMS Department of Stafford County invites you to attend a Come Look See um, event that they are sponsoring. And this is to just make you aware of the different training programs that they have planned. And it will be at the Stafford Economic Development Center at 634 East 4th Street. The meeting will inform you of the, their training session, so please call 620-549-3765 for further information. And if you uh, are interested in being a part of a volunteer service for a disaster training, these trainings will be very, very useful. Whenever there's a big disaster and there's, there's a need for people to attend, if you are trained to do so, it would be helpful. On Saturday the 26th, um, it's a drug take-back day. If you have unused prescription drugs um, that are outdated or unwanted, this is a great time to discard of them. Um, the the event is sponsored by the Stafford City Police and if you want more information please call 
3504. They will be collecting these drugs between the hours of 10 to 2 at the Stafford County Hospital. Um, this is a good time to m empty your medicine cabinet, the kitchen cabinet, or um, the bags that you have your medication in, and they will discard of it properly for you. Great effort there. Mark your calendars also for good eating at the pizza place on Saturday. Um, the Sunflower Center is sponsoring a pizza and movie. They will meet at 5 o'clock at the pizza place and have some good pizza, puppets pizza. And they would leave right at 6 o'clock for Great Bend and at 7 o'clock for the movie at the Golden Belt Cinema 6. And the cost for that is only $20. And um, Poppy's Pizza make a good pizza, so mark your calendars for that. And on Sunday, the 27th, his hands puppets are at the Hudson Community Hall at 6 p.m. His hands puppets will be in performance. This is a 40-45 minute puppet show that will benefit Operation Christmas Child. This ministry is um, sponsored by the Samaritan Purse and the Samaritan Purse Ministry, they collect shoe boxes that are donated and the shoe boxes are donated with um, Christmas presents and they send this, these all over the world and they, thousands and thousands of boxes are collected um, with this ministry of the Samaritan Purse. And so the puppet show is to get some funds. It's free, or but they will accept a donation, and your generous donation is always needed. The performance is action-packed and full of good humor and laughter for the whole family. The doors will be open at 6 o'clock, and the performance starts at 6.30. So call the Trinity Community Church at 620 Four five eight five three zero for for more information. Just wanted to remind everyone that October fifteenth through December seventh is the open enrollment for prescription drug coverage, and the Medicare Part D. This is the time to address any changes to your present plan. The insurance companies often change their formularies. And this is a time to make sure that you are covered with the right cost for your Part D. And if you ha have financial assistance, your circumstances may change, so that needs to be updated also. Uh, this is a time to make comparisons of the different drug plans and their costs. And so if you need some more help on that, please call one 800 742 nine five three three for the southwest kansas area on aging and ask for rick schaefer rick or somebody else on the staff up there will be they have all the information and will be happy to help you mark your calendars too for next monday it's a warm-up for the winter day and our local school district is sponsoring a warm-up for the winter event. The USD 350 will host a coat for kids on Monday, uh, the 28th, from 3 until 9 p.m. If your child needs a warm coat for this winter, you are invited to come. The coats will be available at the gym. And if you have coats in your um, cupboards that the kids have, a, have outgrown and they're in good condition, they will welcome your donation also. This is a nice and warm gesture that they're doing, so please check your closets and donate if you are able. And that is next Monday from 3 to 5, right outside the gym. So today uh, on our menu, over at the Maxwell Center, 
we have Tahitian chicken, mashed potatoes, Italian vegetables, bread, a pudding and usual fixings. And tomorrow they will have lasagna uh, with corn, a tossed salad and French bread and a creamy fruit salad. And on Thursday they will have salmon loaf, potato rounds, harvest beets, bread and strawberries and banana cake. So very tasty over at the Maxwell Center. And today at the Sunflower Center, it's a baked pollock with tartar sauce, baked potato, Japanese mixed vegetables, sliced tomatoes, and a lemon lime dessert. And sweet and sour pork on Thursday. They will serve that with steamed rice, steamed broccoli, strawberry mold, and a frozen um, dessert. And Friday they will have a chicken strips, mashed potato with gravy, seasoned peas, carrots, coconut salad, and a fresh fruit cup. And carrot coconut salad is very good. That's one of my favorites. So. If you need um, lunches, please call the centers and they will be happy to um, have them delivered for you. And of course, you can always go and have the meals there. Along with black-eyed peas, tomatoes, yogurts, tea, carrots, and almonds, mushroom is another of our flu-fighting foods. So mushrooms, these nutri nutri nutritional powerhouse, heighten the body's resistance to viral infections by increasing the activity of the body's natural T cells or killer cells. Uh, these uh, um, cells are important in the Im immune system um, to, re to ward off diseases. So mushrooms are rich in selenium, and low levels of this mineral have been linked with an increased risk of developing a more severe flu. So mushroom is our food for thought today. And it's a good way to fight off the flu. So thank you very much and have a good afternoon.